for the first time in years Got my feet crossed the border from a land of tears Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Miss Ebony V. Welcome back to my channel. Before I get into the video, if you are new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are interested in hair tutorials, wig reviews, crochet installations, makeup, all that jazz. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload a video. All right, y'all, let's get into this video. All right, you guys, so I'm here with another synthetic wig review and guess who it's from? Yes, we have another sensational what lace unit, and this is in the style Liana or Liana. I'm gonna go with Liana. This is what her stock car looks like. So this is again one of the what lace collections, and with the what lace, is expected to have the undetectable lace, as shown here. See the difference. So. This is Liana. Now the difference with this wet lace is this one says that it has HD lace. So we're going to see about that. Mm -hmm. So I have Liana in the color T1B slash 350. So this is what she looks like straight out of the package. Again, this is this nice pre-plucked natural looking hairline but we'll see about this lace once i get it on because that's always questionable it's still not exactly my skin tone but it's not that ashy light color it's been or that i've experienced in the past it's actually a whole lot better so we'll see once i get it on cap construction two combs in the front normal cap construction with one comb in the back and the adjustable straps all right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and switch this baby around. If you're interested in this unit and I have the video available, I'll be sure to place it in the description box below. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and be proactive and add some lace tint spray that I purchased from Etsy from Laced Hair Products. And this lace tint is in the color medium brown. All right, y'all, so this is the unit straight onto my head. Now, I've been having trouble not being able to see clearly <laughs> when I'm recording with this ring light in front of me, especially at night. So y'all let me know at first sight. I'm going to go check myself <laughs> in a second, but how is it when it's first on my head? Like, is it blending after the lace tint? I feel like it is, y'all. I really do. Now, my problem is I'm not sure that this is coming down ear to ear. Yeah, I'm glad I straightened my own baby hair or my own edges because, yeah, we're, we're missing some room here. It's not coming all the way down like it could. It's like barely. It's almost there. Almost, but almost doesn't count. Oh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and finish styling this baby, make sure my lace is right. Um, yeah, I don't want to have another uh-oh like I did before. So... I'll continue styling and come back with my final Alright, so this is what we're working with so far. Very nice hairline. I wanted y'all to see this parting space and how it looks in the middle first. 
before I go to my normal right side part. I am a right side chick. That's typically where I like to wear my part. My final look and here are my thoughts on this wig so I think they might have improved on the lace just a little bit like I did go in with my tint spray my lace tint spray because I just I was not fooling with sensational this time I was like you know what I'm gonna tint this lace ahead of time and go on and move on because I didn't feel like having to come back but I mean I feel like this lace much better than the others and i've tried not all of the what lace almost all it's probably a couple i didn't try like when it first came out so i like the free parting space of course like most of the wet lace units i'm a right side part chick so that's what i decided to go with today i did lay a few little baby hairs down but not a lot um so i showed you how it didn't really come all the way ear to ear in my opinion so that's why i pulled this hair out here and then i i took a a lesson out of gladys's book also known as is that your hair and add a little eyeliner black eyeliner here so that it didn't look like too much lace sitting here so yeah i think i think it's I think it's a very pretty wig. You know, I'm a huge fan of the wave look, so I love the waves in this unit. I'm loving the color of this unit. They did a good color combination with the uh, dark ombre roots bleeding into the 350, and it's actually the black root all the way throughout. Now, as you can see, I was having a little trouble. I don't know what it is with me, y'all. It's something. It's just me. I'm not gonna blame the wig. Like every time I try to glue these sides down. They're just so rebellious. Like, they just never listen. So, I just leave them be. I leave them be, y'all. I did not get a whole lot of tangling with this unit. However, I did get some shedding. Um, so, be prepared for that. I love the layers. Like, this is really nicely layered. Like, look at this. Short. And we're getting longer. Like, really nicely layered. This is her on the side. Now, in the back, she's coming past my butt. Like, she's really long. I know you probably can't see all that down there. So, what I think the most annoying thing about this wig are the freaking flyaways. Like, my gosh. Like, I'm going to spray this thing some more just to keep these flyaways under control, honey. They just keep sticking to my face and flying in my face. It's quite annoying. All in all, I really don't have a lot of complaints with this wig. I don't think she was a whole lot of effort to put on. Um, you don't have to deal with baby hairs because of the hairline. Um, and honestly, y'all, I could have, well, I did. I did focus on just um, gluing down the sides to make sure I, didn't, I wasn't flapping in the wind. But when I put it on, like, it could have been glueless. Like, the front was down. Like, it was not moving. And it was to my head. Um, I just... I sprayed it because I have a show tonight. <laughs> Can't afford for my wig to be going nowhere with all the dancing I'm about to do. So I needed to be a little more safer. But you don't necessarily have to do that. Like just focus on the sides. Just make sure those are intact. 
and you're good to go. If you want to add an elastic band where you don't have to add any glue at all, that might help also. And it, I think it'll stay in place. I also have my wig grip on, so I was going for extra security. Y'all, anytime I have a show, I need all the security <laughs> possible because we gets down. <laughs> we gets down. I'm dancing and dancing. Uh, the sucker cannot go nowhere. <laughs> All right, so I purchased this wig from wigtypes.com, and she is retailing at $53.94. That's for the normal natural colors. Now, if you want a color like this or one of the other non-natural colors, then it'll be an additional $2. So, you know, it's sensational what lace collection. The wigs in this collection usually range from about $50 to $60. I would not call this on the low budget side, um, which I'm usually a fan of the low budget, but no, this is not one of those. All right, y'all, well, y'all let me know what you think about this baby here. The color, the waves, because I'm feeling her. She's pretty. Yes, and I feel like I'm ready now. Ow. All right, y'all. Let me go on and get out of here. Thanks so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you're notified. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.